Welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. Recently, my mom wanted some granola, but couldn't find any at the store that she liked. So I decided to make my own granola recipe and give it to her. So today, I'm gonna to show you my favorite way to make some granola. All right, so how we get this started is we turn our burner on low. We take two cups of oats. And then one cup of mixed nuts. I have three fourths of cups of pecans and then one fourth cup of almonds. You could use whatever nut mix you like. You could put walnuts, you could put cashews or peanuts, whatever you like. I want to toast our nuts first because it'll give our granola more flavor and it'll taste so good. You want to keep stirring this that way it doesn't burn because that's a little too much flavor. You want to keep mixing this around for four to five minutes or until you can smell the good aroma of our pecans and almonds. You can really smell the nutty fragrance now. So we're going to add three tablespoons of coconut oil to give it some more nutty flavor. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna let it melt and coat all of our oats and nuts. The camera had smell a vision that way you could smell the amazing fragrance. Drop a comment if you think that smell vision should be a real thing. I think it should. All right, now that the coconut oil has coated all of our oats and nuts, we're going to add our sweetener. We have three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of maple syrup. All in all, you have to have six tablespoons of sweetener. Now, if you want your granola to clump up in those little clusters, you could add a thicker sweetener like honey or molasses, but I kind of like mine loose. I think it tastes better. Mix in your sweetener. This is gonna give it some caramelized goodness. We're gonna give it a pinch of sea salt to balance out some of that sweetness. Now you're gonna cook it for two to three minutes until your sweetener is incorporated. This is all good, we're gonna turn it off. Add two tablespoons of chia seeds. That way it adds a little protein and a little extra crunch and half a cup of raisins. You could use whatever your favorite dried fruit is. The great thing about granola is it goes on so many different things. It can go on yogurt or ice cream or pancakes or froyo, or you could just eat it with some milk as cereal, put it on top of your oatmeal, or just take some and eat it. Now that we have all of our ingredients mixed in, we're going to pour this on our line pan with some parchment paper, that way it can dry. And now is the time where you would add chocolate chips. I love chocolate chips, but I'm not gonna put it in this granola because I wanna eat it with some yogurt. We're gonna spread it out. All right, our granola is all ready to be dried. We're gonna let it dry until it cools, and then you can store it in an airtight container for a couple of weeks. And the great thing about granola is it's so customizable. One time I made it with some dried apples and cinnamon. It tasted so good. It's great for the fall. You could use whatever you like in your granola. Make it your favorite. Here is the granola that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Here I have it on top of some coconut yogurt with an Almond Joy for some Almond Joy yogurt. Over here we have some raspberry yogurt with some raspberries on top for a cute little decoration. These are perfect for a get together. If you want a yogurt bar, that way everybody can customize it and make it their own. Or it's great like this to just put on some yogurt or pancakes or anything that you want to do. Or just take this to work with you and take a spoon and eat it. It's that good. If you like this video, please like it and comment your favorite way to have granola down below. Subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen, share this with all your granola loving friends, and y'all have a great day.